Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Friday, Friday, Friday. The weekend is here. Weekend has arrived. And it's time for all these wheel of betting videos, which you, 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 you're getting used to by now. This is the, the least popular. <laughs> Stats chat with me, uh, Chris Graham, talking about five games taking place this weekend with heavy tre trends and stats attached to them. It's a bit of fun. I enjoy it. Hopefully you do as well. Let's get started, because I need to get to the gym. Newcastle against Crystal Palace will be uh, really, you know, a game with a lot of coverage this weekend. New Warnock's come in, of course. Uh, how will they cope? Well, if you look at previous Newcastle Crystal Palace games, they get a nightmare because Crystal Palace have failed to score in their last seven matches against Newcastle for the last 12 years. This trend has been alive and kicking. 14 unanswered goals in a row for Newcastle in this fixture. Palace have really struggled. Um, Lee Bradbury was the last Crystal Palace player to score a goal against Newcastle. That came on January the 2nd, 1999, in an FA Cup third round match, which Newcastle eventually won 2 1, uh, thanks to the goals from Alan Shearer and Gary Speed that particular day. Palace to fail to score tomorrow is available at 21 to 20, with William Hill, if you think it'll happen for the eighth consecutive time tomorrow. Game two, a Sunday game, Aston Villa against Hull. Hull, of course, knocked out the Europa League last night. Aston Villa playing surprisingly quite well at this very early stage of the competition of the Premier League. And they're unbeaten in nine against Hull overall. And a very strong, dominant record. Played nine, won eight, drawn one, lost none. Very strong record for Aston Villa against Hull which is stretched back for 27 years now. If, as you know, the last time Hull won was a 2-1 win in the old second division back in August the 27th, 1987. Aston Villa had come down for the top division the year before. They were expected to bounce back instantly, uh, but the, the panic... The panic button was getting pressed because it took to game five, week five of the season, before Villa recorded their first win. This was one of the defeats within that, that period before they got their first win. 2 1 defeat against Hull. Don't worry though, they ended up getting promoted. They finished second to Millwall that year, came back into the, the top division um, of, the, of uh, English football, where they, they stayed until uh, May 2015 when they got relegated. Anyway. And uh, what, 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 what was number one back then, Chris? Well, it was this. Right, on way. Uh, game three, I do like that song. Game three, Fulham against Cardiff in the Championship. I've been massively against Cardiff uh, so far this season. Mm, so far. Um, and this game is all about goals. Over two and a half, and both teams have scored, yes, the last eight times the sides have met over the last 19 years. Um, it started off, this run started off back in 1995, it was actually a bottom tier game, a fourth tier game in English football when Fulham and Cardiff um, met back in 1995, Fulham won 4-2 that day, and the run has continued over two and a half goals, and both teams to score has continued right through to earlier this year, back in March of 2014, a Premier League match, of course. Uh, Cardiff won 3-1, Stephen Calker scoring twice that day. Over two and a half is available at 20-19 with William Hill, and both teams to score is 5-6 to six with Betfair Sportsbook. Will it happen again for the ninth time? Over two and a half in BTTS in this fixture. Two Scottish games to, to end it. Dumbarton against Livingston. Uh, it's gone over two and a half the last nine times the sides have met over the last two years. Played each other a lot um, in this particular second tier match in Scotland. Nine times in a row we've seen three or more goals. Eight to eleven. We bet 365 it happens again tomorrow for the 10th consecutive time. And wrapping it up with Stranraer against Dunfermline in the third tier in Scotland. Over two and a half the last eight times these sides have met. That run began way back in 1995, a League Cup match back in August of 1995. And Fairmont winning 3-0 that night. Um, goals from the, the late uh, Norrie McCarthy. Uh, the current Arbroath manager, Alan Moore, and the current Arbroath assistant manager, Stuart Petrie. Funny old game, eh? That was back in August 1995, the first of eight consecutive games uh, where uh, three or more goals were spilled in the Stranard and Fairman game. Three to four with Labrooks tomorrow. That happens for the ninth time in a row. 
enjoy the football. See you later.